Let's see how to calculate the retirement date of an employee from his or her date of birth. We will be considering two cases here. In the first case, employee will retire on the last day of the month after completing 60 years. For example, this guy here, Amit Ranjan was born on 7th of September 1964. That means he will be celebrating his 60th birthday on 7th of September 2024. And he will retire on the last day of that month, that is 30th of September 2024. Now the formula for calculating the retirement date of Amit Ranjan equal we will be using EO month function also called end of month function for this purpose. EO month open parenthesis first argument of the end of month function is start date date of birth will be the start date comma second argument months we need the last day of the month after 60 years for that 60 multiplied by 12 Close parenthesis, enter. And we have the retirement date of Amit Ranjan, 30th of September 2024. We'll copy this formula into the cells below. And these are the retirement dates of these employees here. And if you want the retirement year, equal year function. Year function is used to extract the year from a particular date. Open parenthesis, select the retirement date close parenthesis, enter. And we have the retirement year. Next we will calculate the years left for retirement. To calculate how many years are left for the retirement of Amit, starting from today, equal year frac function. Year frac function will return the number of years between the supplied dates. Open parenthesis, first argument start date, we need the remaining years for retirement starting from today. For that we will use today function. Today, open and close parenthesis, comma. Second argument end date. Retirement date is the end date. Close parenthesis, enter. There are 1.8 years left for the retirement of Amit Ranjan. We'll copy this formula into the cells below. And we have the years left for the retirement date of all these employees. Note that we have used today function in this formula. That means whenever I open this excel file, this formula will update according to the current date. Now the second case. Those with birthdays that fall on the first of the month will retire on the last day of the preceding month. Check this guy here. Pravin was born on 1st of January 1979. So according to the first case, Pravin will retire on 31st of January 2039. But according to the second case, Employees with birthdays that fall on 1st of the month will retire on the last day of the preceding month. That means Pravin has to retire on 31st of December 2038. Now the formula for calculating retirement date based on case 2. Equal end of month function open parenthesis start date date of birth will be the start date comma number of months open parenthesis, 60 multiplied by 12, close parenthesis, minus, open parenthesis, day function, open parenthesis, once again select the date of birth, close parenthesis, equal 1. Here day function is used to check whether the date of birth falls on first of the month, close parenthesis, once again close parenthesis, enter. For Amit Ranjan, in both cases, retirement date is the same. We'll copy the formula up to here. See the date of birth of this employee, 1st of March 1995. According to the first case, this employee will retire on 31st of March 2055. But according to the second case, retirement date is 28th of February 2055. See you soon with another Excel tip. Thank you for watching and wish you a great day.